Morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of wade fishing, but uh, this time it's going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to go hit the west side of the river this time. Uh, I'm going to hook up with this guy named Tom. He's also known as the uh, Indian River Pescator on YouTube, and he's been fishing on the west side quite a bit and doing pretty well. Um, I historically do not do well on the west side at all. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to go hook up a top and see if we can get on some fish. All right. So if I catch them, you'll see them. If not, I'm just talking to myself. All right. See you in a bit. Maybe. <laughs> What's up, brother? Hey, Miss George. Hey, how's, how's it going, going sir? Good, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. God damn, it's Pretty nice fun. out, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. I, I like a little bit more uh, more action there sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I see you like the, the windy stuff, for it sure. To, to me, it turns on the bite. I mean, you know. You know what? Unless they see you coming, it's too flat, especially if the water's clear. That's, you know, that's my mm -hmm. opinion. Yeah, you I just hear have you. the longer cast if it's like this, you know. Yeah, no on. problem, dude. But Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go north of. The okay. Yeah, just follow me, and then uh, and, uh, we'll park and we'll we'll hit it. Okay, cool. Wow, you fish way north of. That's that's why I don't like fishing on the west side at all. Like seriously, like like I see your videos and stuff, and I see you catching fish, and I'm like I go fish like anywhere between here and there, and it's like that's what I feel like. I'm like, where is this guy fishing? There's like there's like no grass. Like you are fishing a the desert. There's like there's like nothing. They're basically just roaming fish sometimes because it's like. I I never seven, catch anything up there. Seven, eight years there. ago, I used to come out here, slot reds, like three, four of them every, every time, every trip. And it was like, th this area right here is actually one of my buddies. Uh, this was the first time I ever started wade fishing here on this side. Mm -hmm. I used to fish over there all the time. because Yeah, that's where access. I fish all the time, most of the time. So he brought, I would catch trout and snook over there. He brought me over here, man. He's like, oh, you want to catch reds? I'm like, yeah. So I brought him over here, man, just started killing him. And I was uh -huh. like, oh, this is great. What the heck with that side? Plus yeah. it's a further drive to get yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you got to go over the bridge and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, but, uh, but yeah, the, the redfish, I, I don't know, over the last four or five years, it's been like, so it's a great sign that I started catching a ton of, you know, at least a small rat res. And then watching your video over there that they, What's I the think, time of year? I think they pushed in, yeah. No, they um, don't push in. You know what? I'm going to turn my camera off for a minute. Are you catching fish out here in this? Like this with no grass and stuff? Really, but I noticed it's been it's a little bit more active when uh, when there's bait. There's got to be some bait or and something. When, like I said, it's, it's a little choppy. I think uh, there's a bus right there. Look, that's not that's not a jack, dude. That's a snook. That's for sure a snook. That's way a snook. There we go. Bunch of little snook, dude. Gotta be a bunch. There's definitely more than one. I thought it was a big fish, but it's not. Yeah, a little snook. There you go. Oh, I lost him. There he goes, right there. Check it out. <laughs> I thought it was a bigger fish from the way it busted. So you don't fish at all on the west side anymore? That's another reason why I don't come here a lot either, is because it just seems like, I don't know, like you said, you like it, but it just seemed like it was like victory at sea when you come over here, you know? Yeah, I fish a lot over, over pretty much exactly on the other side of this. Oh yeah. I don't know, it's just funny because it's just like, you look at the other side and uh... It's very fishy looking 
That, that's exactly it. But then you, like, how many times have you gone to a place where it's like, it looks so fishy and then you never catch anything. And then you go to like some janky place where it's just like, it looks like crap. And then all of a sudden the fish are there. It's, it's funny as hell. It is, it is weird. Like, like you have no idea that, like, you're like, there's not going to be any fish here. And then all of a sudden it's really good. And then you go to a spot, you're like, wow, this looks great. It's all jungly. And like, that's what you expect when you like, when you're fishing, you're like, oh, it needs to be remote and jungly and, and untouched. And the fish don't really seem to care as long as the right conditions are there, you know? They were there, but they wouldn't hit anything. I got lucky. Oh, there goes a snook, dude. I just fully, fully spooked a snook right here. He was like right in front of me. Like right in between these two pilings. It's nice to see signs of life even when there's no grass like this. But uh yeah, I got lucky. I got there at the right tide and 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 um the right everything. There was like piles of glass minnows pouring out between that barge that, that I was fishing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another snow. Thank. Hold on. No, nah, he's just spunky. I think it's a snook. Might I don't know. Maybe let's see what it is. Might not be. Maybe. Might be a red, dude. No, wait. Hard to see. Yeah, it's a red, dude. Oh damn, nice. Nice red. Nice little red. These are like the same size as the ones I was catching on the other side. Yeah, that's about. I I caught two that were like 24, 25. Wow, that's a nice little redfish, man. Check him out. There you go. Thanks to Tom here, hooking me up with his spots. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Check that out, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Look how pretty that thing oh, is, yeah. man. Just just nice and clean. Great sign having those little guys. Oh my God, that's what I was saying before too. It was just like, it's so awesome just to see these fish here. It really is. Wow, that's so cool. And in the middle of the day, too. Yep. Usually my fishing uh, come on the evening. Exactly. I mean, that's nice. Check it out, guys. Beautiful, beautiful little redfish. Wow. See you, buddy. <laughs> that was cool. That'll work. Yeah, that's not my place. They're like a... That's why, like, when everybody asks you, like, on your channel, it's like, where were you fishing? It's just like, don't focus on where I'm fishing. Focus on why, what, what I'm fishing, how I'm fishing. You know what I mean? And and it's just like the spots are a dime a dozen. About, uh, I don't take it by. Oh, I don't. Yo, don't eat just about anything. Go there, Pretty much, if they're hungry. I agree with that for sure. I mean, certain baits are better for certain situations obviously but i mean i can use like you go to certain places and you can you can use the same bait for years and catch fish on it all the time there we go yeah i actually caught a snook i think yeah i got a snook he's sitting right there yeah little guy right in the shadow line nice little fish Nice and clean. Come on, buddy. Give me a break. Well, I'm already doing better than I normally do down at the other end, right? There you go. That's a good thing. I've only been out here for like five minutes. Nice little. Whoa. Check it out. Pretty snug. Look at that in the sun. That's really nice. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Nice little fish. He wants to go home. Nice, nice little snook. Nice clear water too. Yeah, it's way clear. Awesome too, but he ain't going to sit there. He's going to sit there for a second. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I mean, I don't see the difference between this and back there for any reason, really. I mean, Besides the fact that there's a pile of glass minnows in here. Maybe. It's a I, I, maybe. 
I mean, people have been fishing back there forever and ever. There goes a, there, dude, there goes another one right there. I just seen it. There, throw on that stick. Maybe that was a redfish that I saw. Maybe it wasn't a snook. Remember earlier when I told you I think that was a redfish. Maybe, maybe in between because there was something. It looked bigger though. I figured it was a snook. That might have been a nice size red. Exactly there was another one right there, dude. Seriously, we just walked right up on it. Anything white, dude, I, I, I like it. I don't care if the water is dirty, clear, it doesn't matter. They just like white baits, white, white and glow. There's some big ladyfish over here lately. I don't have a problem catching them either when they get really big like that. They're fun, they jump out there like a little carpet. They fight harder than the snook, the big ones. Like when you get those big bruiser ones. And I'll tell you what, sometimes they can save the day. <laughs> yeah, you know? It's all an ego thing, pretty much anyways. I mean, they all, there you go. There you go. That'll work. Damn, there you go. Is it is a big ladyfish? Dude, I mean, look at the bed that, put, that thing put in your rod. I mean, seriously, look at the bend that thing's putting in your rod. That's all. That's what I was talking about. They're huge. Seriously, bigger than the snook I caught. They fight better. They do, dude. That's a huge. That's a huge. Look at that thing, dude. That thing's crazy. That's a giant lady. Dude, check that out. Hold on, let me get in on that. Wow, look at that thing. That's a monster ladyfish for sure. <laughs> they can there be fun go. for sure. Yeah, for real. Look at that. Dude, it's way bigger than the snook I caught. <laughs> Don't be out of there like nothing. Well, when you're all catch and release, I mean, seriously, it's it, like I said, it's, it's pretty much just an ego thing. It's just like somebody telling you that this is a good fish and this is a bad fish, right? In, in all honesty. Yeah, in all honesty, there, any fish you catch is a good fish, I think, for the most part. If it, if it bite, bites hard. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It's got to be a little baby jack, dude. Something small. No, it's a big ladyfish. Ran with me. <laughs> That's one of those big ass ladyfish. It just fully ran right towards me. That's all. Damn. Dude, it's got some weight to it. I think it's bigger than the one you caught. Seriously. That's like no joke. Oh, there it goes. Dude, that thing's way bigger than one. That thing was huge. That's, uh, that's the best release right there. That is the best release for those things. Dude, you, I'll give you the, uh, oh shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, there's oh my god, you should see how many just came out. There was like there must have been like 30 of them just followed this thing out. It's huge too. They just like 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 full on like they're still around me. Just must have wow. Not a tarpon, but pretty damn close. Dude, these things are no joke when they get this size. These are these things are silly big, dude. I mean silly. They're fun. Some people hate them, but they're I mean they're fun. That thing fought harder than the snook and the redfish. Absolutely. So much harder. I don't think this guy's gonna stick around for me to get an underwater shot though. So we'll just kind of release them like this. They move pretty quick too. Yeah, for real. I mean this guy's like, oh I'm just chill. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there we go. Damn. I'm like the king of the ladyfish today, dude. There it goes. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I noticed when it, like, between where we were catching the fish back there and here is there aren't as many glass minnows I don't see. You know what I mean? Like back there where, where we, were, we were getting into them a little bit, it seemed like there was a little bit more glass minnows. I like the B-roll. I like I like the. I used to take a lot of pictures before this, like 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 everybody else. And 
you know, not just pictures of fish, but like yeah, the bird and, yeah. you know, the sunset. And yeah. I enjoy that and I like music too. So I, I kind of, that's another thing that I like. As the video length a little bit sometimes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, just picked it up. It's got to be a jack. Just, I mean, like literally just, oh, yeah. like just picked it up, dude. Like it just, my line just oh, got. Yeah, my line just went tight. Like literally didn't even feel it. Like I just was reeling and just went tight. Another little canal tuna. Right. See you, buddy. Tom's finally rewarded for his effort. <laughs> Snook, yeah? Hold on, I'll come over. Tom finally got himself a nice little snook. Things kind of slowed down a little bit. And still getting her done. Not a bad little fish, dude. Tom with a nice pretty Indian River snook. Future giant, right? There you go. Come out. Let him go here. <laughs> he had a nice view. He's like, I got 16 cameras on me. It's a star, right? How about that? There you go. It's not bad, dude. Take him out. He like run you over, <laughs> right? He's following me. Yeah. He's like, oh. like, you got any more of that plastic food, dude? Or you just disappeared underneath your net. There he is, right there. <laughs> All right. Now that the cars are gone. All right. So, anyways, we're done for today. Um, had a great time fishing today with Tom, Indian River Pescador. Pescador. All right, Indian whatever. Pescador. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave a link down below, down there for his channel for you guys to check out. Definitely check it out because this guy definitely catches fish over here. Put me on some fish today. Caught a nice red fish, a couple of monster ladyfish, a um, couple snow. It wasn't a bad day at all. It was definitely pretty out. So. I'm glad to be doing it with him, and uh, we're going to be doing it again in, in the future, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we'll get on some big fish next time. Yeah, I hope so. Anyways, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. If you haven't done so, make sure you do so. Bleh, make sure you do so, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye.